So the next um, technique that we're going to try out is the ripped strips. It works very similar to the shapes. But what we're going to do is just start off from the top. So I'm using the same colours again, the same three blue tones, but I'm also going to use a little bit of magazine um, just to get some different little lettering effects that um, we know Felipe Patricio gets. I'm going to start off with my dark tone and I'm, when I'm ripping it I'm just making sure that the edge is not perfectly straight. I'm going to position it in the box and then when it comes to the end you can either snip it with scissors or you can just rip it, it doesn't really matter which. But what I will say is that we're going to try our best to go from one edge of the box and then line it up flush with the next edge of the box just over here. Oh, it's a bit of a wonky shape. Let me turn it over and see if that works. Yep, that's near enough. So, I'll zoom in. There we go. So now I'm going to go for another tone of blue. I'm going to use my medium blue. Um, you can use some thick strips, some thin strips. It's totally up to you. But we're trying to keep it neat with that edge of the box. So just like that. I think it's probably easier to rip it near the edge of the box. And just push that bit back in there. Then I'm going to use a little bit of magazine paper. Put some glue across in line with the edge of the box. And then just ripping it like that. We're just using a combination of different tones. And what, what we achieve here is a sort of a wave-like effect. So you could use this for lots of different things if you're trying to achieve mountains or a, a, um, a landscape texture. There's lots of reasons that you could use this technique. 